you and a friend are studying late at night. There are three 160 watt light bulbs and a radio with an internal resistance of 74.0 ohms plugged into the living room electrical outlets. You decide to have a break and have a snack, turning on the popcorn machine that draws 9.00 amps. How much electrical power are you using? Assume the electric company provides you with 110 volts potential difference. Okay, so for this problem, we are going to find the total power that all uh, three of these different types of devices are using up. And we are going to find the power of each type of device separately and then add all the values up to get the total power that we are using up. First thing in the problem is the three light bulbs. And since they, uh, their wattage amount is given, that is already the uh, SI unit for power, so we don't have to do any calculation other than multiply 160 watts by the three light bulbs that are on. So for the light bulbs, it's simply 3 times 160. Okay? So after the light bulbs, there is a radio that they have given us the resistance value for. And for that we are going to use uh, power equals V squared over resistance. So the radio. Um, so the power that the radio is taking up is going to be the voltage, which they have given us over here as 110, so 110 squared, divided by the resistance as 74 ohms. So this is the voltage of the radio, and then we are going to add that to the popcorn machine. And for the popcorn machine, it's a little bit of a longer calculation, but it's simple enough. We are going to use the fact that resistance is equal to delta V over I, which uh, I stands for current, and then that resistance that we calculate is in the denominator of this equation right here, P equals V squared over R. So we're just going to combine that into one little calculation that we can put into the calculator. So. Uh, V squared, that is 110 squared again, divided by V squared again, 110 squared, divided by the 9 amps that they have uh, provided us with that the popcorn machine takes up. So just 9, and that is a separate uh, fraction in the denominator. And so this is the, uh, these are the three values that are going to be, when we add them up, the total power that the devices are using. So we can just plug this, this, and this into the calculator and then add those values up. So when we put all of them into the calculator, we get 1,633.5, and that will be watts because that is the total amount of power that these three different types of devices are going to be using. So the next part of this question is asking how much current in amperes is required to feed all the devices described above. And so for this we are going to use the equation P equals I V. So power is equal to current times the potential difference, which is in volts. And we are going to rearrange that so that it is equaling current. So I equals P over V. So the power we just calculated in this last part of the question 1633.5 watts over the voltage, which again, this handy little uh, piece of data that they have given us, 110 volts. And so when we do this calculation in the calculator, we get a value of 14.85, and they asked us for amps. So this is the amount of current required to feed the three devices. And there is a third part to this question, so let's go ahead and read it. You are so tired after studying that you leave all of these household devices turned on for 11 hours. Calculate the cost in dollars of the electric bill if the commercial rate is 9 cents per kilowatt hour. Okay, so 
first off, a kilowatt hour. So a kilowatt hour is just basically a kilowatt times an hour. And a kilowatt is a thousand watts. So, and we don't have to worry about converting to minutes or seconds over here because they have already given us the value in hours. Power is equal to energy divided by time. And we are going to be solving for E energy because a kilowatt hour is a unit for energy. So rearranging this equation, we get E is equal to P times T. So P we calculated previously in the first part of the uh, question. The power was 1,633.5 watts and the uh, we have to multiply this by, uh, this is in watts, correct? So one kilowatt is equal to a thousand watts. So that is our little um, conversion calculation right there. And then we can just multiply this by 11 hours. And so we can put all of that into the calculator. We get a value of 17.9685. And this is how many kilowatt hours of energy we are using and we are going to multiply that by the 9 cents so that is just 0 0.09 um, if we do it in dollars and we can uh, calculate that to equal 162 that is how much money it is going to cost if you leave those devices on for 11 hours